The Anguished Man is said to be the most haunted painting in the world, painted by a tortured artist who is said to have used his own blood to finish the painting. And after he finished the painting, he committed suicide. It is said thou, in whichever home this painting hangs, the tortured artist's soul follows it around. Years ago, in a small home in Cumbria, in Scotland, an artist sat down to paint a self-portrait. The man was disturbed, his life filled up with depression and pills suffering from debilitating mental disorders which had him wailing at night. Drawing inspiration from this tortured life, he decided to paint his portrait to reflect his anguish. To ensure he was imbued into the painting, he then mixed his own blood into the paint and painted the rough, terrifying painting known today only as the Anguished Man. After he finished the painting, he sent it to the grandmother of Owen Sean Robinson. She had requested a painting from the artist and he decided to give her his self-portrait. A few days after he sent her the painting, he committed suicide. The new owner had taken one look at the ghastly thing and had no wish to hang it up in her house. So, she hid it away in the attic to keep it out of sight and try and forget it was even there. But shortly after the painting was taken into her home, a visitor started wandering the halls. Shadowy shapes moved and twitched just at the edge of her vision. When she would turn to look, it would be gone. At night she would hear the faint moans and cries of someone in distress. Living alone, she had no explanation for the sounds and would sometimes get up to inspect, only to find her house completely empty. Yet the sounds persisted, but thankfully, whatever had wandered through the house seemed to have no ill intent towards the elderly lady. So, she let it be in the hopes that it would let her be. A few years after she'd acquired the horrid painting, her grandson, Sean, spotted it on one of his excursions into the cluttered attic and he became fascinated by the ghastly visage. He asked if he could inherit it and she was only too glad to finally gift the painting to someone else. After his grandmother passed away, Sean brought the painting home, only to have it immediately moved to the basement. His wife had no wish to have the thing in her house. But in 2010, after a flood, he rediscovered the painting brought it out of the dark and hung it up in one of their spare rooms. Although unhappy, his wife let it be. The thing was at the very least out of sight. But shortly after the move, their nightmare started. Footsteps in the hallway, doors banging shut for no reason, items going missing and reappearing somewhere else. Overall, the Robinson family chalked it up to imagination, to basic issues with plumbing or perhaps drafts in the house. There was nothing to worry about, nothing at all, but it got worse. His children began suffering from night terrors, screaming their heads off in complete terror. John would wake up in the middle of the night to find a faceless figure standing at the foot of the bed. Moaning and crying would be heard at night. And when either he or his wife would check on the children, they were both asleep. There was no explanation for the sounds, no explanation for the voices. One evening, while Sean was out of town, his wife woke up to a man lying next to her in the bed, an incident that she says has traumatized her to this day. But the worst incident came when the visitor turned its attentions on their son, Keenan. He was on his way to the kitchen and had just reached the top of the landing when a hand suddenly pressed against his back and shoved him down the stairs. Keenan took a hard tumble, bruised and battered, but thankfully unhurt. He was rightfully completely freaked out by the incident, and it would take some time to calm him down. Fed up, Sean wanted to see if this damned thing was really the cause of their misery, and if it really was haunted, so he set up a camera in a room and recorded the painting for eight long hours. And the painting didn't exactly disappoint. Strange noises, doors opening and closing, and a ghostly figure rushing past in a buzz of sound are all caught on camera and there for the world to see.
Skeptics have, of course, raised their voices, deeming it all an elaborate hoax. But thus far, more people believe in the anguished painting than damn it. Sean, in turn, has made his own comments on the matter. A lot of people are skeptical, and I can understand that because I was a skeptic myself, and I still am. But the footage is there for you to see. It wasn't faked. There could be a perfectly reasonable explanation, but I haven't found one yet. <laughs> 